Welcome to my channel, this is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John and today is my end of the year video talking about the rockers we lost in the year 2021. Now, there were a lot of people, but I'm only including uh, those who are related to the albums that I have either re reviewed or talk about on this particular channel. So I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, so the first one is uh, Alexei Lilo from uh, Children on Bodom. And he passed away, I think it was actually in 2020, I think it was December 29th, but they announced it on January 4th. He was 41 years old, uh, a guitarist, very uh, influential guitarist. Um, Children of Bodom were uh, like a melodic death metal band. I actually started listening to them uh, this year as well. And really great band. Next is uh, Phil Spector, January 16th. He died at the age of 81. Now, he's a person that, uh, you know, a lot of people think he's probably not really such a great person due to, uh, you know, all the things that have uh, happened uh, recently. But you got to keep in mind that he is probably one of the most uh, important people as far as uh, recording music goes. You know, all the work he did with like the Beatles and John Lennon and all these other bands, his whole recording process, Wall of Sound. I mean, that has basically revolutionized the entire recording process. So for that reason, I'm mentioning him. Next, uh, Jeff Labar uh, from the band Cinderella. He was uh, 58 and uh, this was in July. In the, in the month of July, there were like a lot of uh, you know, people who passed away. Jeff Labar was a guitarist and uh, Cinderella were a really great band. They're a, a blues based, uh, kind of like a hair metal band. But they were a little different than uh, the others, so uh, worth, he's worth a mention. Um, next is Mike Howe. He was 55 years old, the original, not the original, but one of the uh, vocalists of Metal Church. And he was on some of their great albums. Like he was on uh, Blessing in Disguise and The Human Factor. And uh, he died at a young age. So, and next is Joey Jordanson. He was 46 years old. He was a drummer for Slipknot. And uh, he was a really great drummer. He actually like uh, saved a, a Metallica concert once because Lars Ulrich, he had like a seizure and had to be taken away in the ambulance. And uh, Joey Jordanson actually uh, took over for uh, Lars just on the spot. Like they didn't like plan it or anything. So uh, he's a really awesome drummer. And next is uh, Dusty Hill. He was 72 years old and he's from the ZZ Top very important artist, and um, I don't know if ZZ Top is going to continue without him, I don't know how they could, but he was uh, definitely a very influential artist. Next, uh, Robbie Steinhardt, and uh, he was 71. He was the violinist for Kansas. Now, Kansas is a band, I've always known about the hits, but I started listening to them this year. And anyway, this is a really great band, and I need to really listen to them a little more. Next is uh, Charlie Watts. He passed away at the age of 80. And he was a longtime drummer for the Rolling Stones, uh, another uh, legendary uh, drummer from a legendary band. The Rolling Stones is another band. I used to listen to them a little when I was younger, but I, ha I have been getting into them a little more you know, this year, mostly like the end of this year. And uh, I rem remember when he passed away, it was like the exact date of uh, when I was planning to do a review of Tattoo You, it was celebrating its 40th anniversary. So I remember I did a review on that like particular day. So that's Charlie Watts. Next is Michael Nesmith from The Monkees. He was 78. Uh, this was one of the most recent passings. I think it was December 10th. And The Monkees is a band, uh, I haven't listened to them in a while, but I remember a long time ago, I used to watch the TV show. It was kind of like a fun show and you know, I do like uh, some of their hits, a lot of those, the music that was on like, uh, like those Shrek movies and it's a really cool band. I probably need to listen to them a little more. Next is uh, Lars Goran Petrov. He's from the band uh, Entombed and Entombed AD. So they are uh, a death metal band and actually they are uh, the first uh, death metal band I actually bought a CD for. So I bought a Wolverine Blues uh, years ago in the early 90s, and this was uh, before I even got into death metal, but that's a pretty cool album, and they're uh, definitely a really good uh, death metal band. So he passed away at the age of 49, and that was in March. And last is uh, Eric Wagner from uh, the band Trouble. He was 62 years old. He passed away in August. 
Trouble is a very underrated doom metal band. They're very uh, similar to maybe like Black Sabbath, but the vocals remind me a little of like the band Nazareth. And uh, their first album was called, uh, I think it was Psalm 9. And they're also like one of the first like Christian metal bands. So definitely a, a great band to check out if you haven't heard of uh, Trouble yet. It's another band that I should uh, definitely talk about more on my channel. Uh, at some point and um, that's it so this will be my last video of the year and uh, probably won't have anything tomorrow morning and uh, on Sunday I will be doing a live stream with Josh Kish that will be uh, 8 p.m. UK time I believe it's 2 p.m. Central Standard after that I will continue uh, with my videos so I will, will be starting in January there won't be many new releases maybe until like about the 15th, but I will be doing some anniversaries. I will be continuing my uh, you know, top 10 series uh, starting with 1973. Probably do a couple album wars here and there, and uh, that's it. So please remember, like, comment, subscribe. See you all in the next one.